Page High School program is Lead Guitar's first and longest running program. It serves students highly at risk for dropping out of school, drug and alcohol abuse, and suicide. When we saw this program's potential for keeping kids interested in coming to school, entrepreneur and philanthropist Mark Sandroff and I founded Lead Guitar to offer at-risk students around the country a great incentive to graduate, music. Well, drugs and alcohol really interfere with my school. And plus that, it would interfere with my guitar playing. And when you're high, you can't really learn nothing. Guitar Club has helped me a lot, just coming here and finding an activity to do instead of taking off with my other friends and doing things I shouldn't be doing. To better serve the bottom line goal of keeping kids in school, Lead Guitar establishes permanent guitar programs at its project schools that continue to flourish long after the two to three year setup phase. We work with our schools from those who have no music programs of any kind to those that already have a guitar program but would like to see it develop. The program provides instruments, curriculum, teacher training, public performance opportunities, and an after school guitar club. Private lessons, workshops, and guitar orchestras provide intensive training for students in technique, theory, music reading, and ensemble playing, through which they also develop their self-discipline, ability to work as a team, and their sense of self-worth. From Brad, I did learn a lot. Um, he gave me a lot of techniques. On how to my, move my fingers about the strings and on the fretboard, which I can also apply to whatever I do at home as I practice on the electric guitar. So it benefits um, me to play, I don't know how to say this. I play better now because I use his techniques. You know, a lot of uh, rock stars use classical techniques and that's where they play smoothly and also really well. All of the hard work of students and teachers comes together on concert day for families and the community to see. So when you're at the concert, you'll hear several really talented guitarists play. You'll hear uh, Jeremy Begay. Justin Whitehair, Michael Klain, probably a lot of these guys you know already. Um, and um, you'll see what a fantastic job they've done over the last years, uh, learning pieces, developing technique, um, and just becoming excellent guitar players. I would like to be a professional musician, maybe in the, in the future. I would also like to learn how to make guitars and playing on stage in front of a lot of people. Well, Brad's program has really helped me and made me a more better guitarist. And I feel like I can be a more even more better guitar, so if I keep on staying in this program. After high school, I, I plan to attend a music school somewhere, which I'm still looking into, and I hope that will help me a lot more, too. So. Seeing how some of the students have developed on their own, it's been really inspiring to me. 
when I first started doing this project, it was something that I didn't necessarily want to do because I was hired to play a concert here and they said, would you also do like three days of work in the schools? And I was like, mm, okay. And now it's become the most meaningful uh, part of what I do. One of my friends moved away and I just told him, keep on playing, something will happen. Come back and show me what you've learned and I'll show you what I've learned and we can make something out of it. For many of our students, the community performance represents the first time their parents have seen them really excel. The most important job of the project is, is to keep kids here and keep them in school and, and keep them interested in coming back and excited about coming back. And um, just help give them some skills that will maybe uh, make a difference in keeping music a part of their life you know, long after they leave school. I'd say to this particular project, you know, it's the follow-up. It's, it's, it's going beyond the experience and staying with those students and continuing to see what their needs are. Um, that, that's sort of opening the door. And then you hope the student walks through it and says, um, okay, I, I got something going here and I feel better about, you know, myself and, and my ability to express myself with this guitar. and. And, the, and then what else? I actually think I want to study music, or I always want this to be in my life, but I was thinking about being an engineer. I just didn't know if I could do it. And then matching them up with people who can help support um, those goals and dreams. I love to play the guitar. So I'll never stop playing. <laughs>